Now let's look at strategy number two. In number two, we're going to be talking about passenger vehicle or any cars and vehicles that you use for real estate purposes. We all know if you're a real estate agent, car is your number one mode of transportation and you use your car to showings, to show houses, to basically go to your appointments, right? So based on that, if your car is on, on a loan, you get a maximum deduction of 300,000 of interest on loan. If you are being a lease, if your car is on lease, you have a deductibility limit of $900 per month, right? And if you want to look at the depreciation, for example, your car is worth $60,000, but $30,000 of that is actually can be depreciated year over year because it's a type of vehicle that is being used for business purposes. A loan, whereas I'm short of $200,000. What happens to the $200,000? I can either go back to the seller and ask them to reduce the price of the house, which will not happen because I've already signed the agreement three months ago. The second option is I can ask the vendor to loan me $200,000 for the shortfall. That $200,000 would technically be a vendor take back because the seller of the property is actually giving me a loan, which is the buyer, the lender for a second mortgage. So now when I close on the property, I'll have two mortgages. One will be the first mortgage of the $800,000. The second is the $200,000 mortgage, which is from the vendor. Each of them will have their own interest rate and each of them will basically help me close on the transaction. The seller sells the home faster. He's basically loaning me $200,000 to close out on the transaction.